click on the Snap to 3D Point icon and select the 3D point to snap the floor plane to that position. Then, select the 2D Rectangle icon to begin sketching a rectangular footprint by clicking three points on the corners of the building facade. Notice that this drawing mode is constrained to the snapped floor plane. A magnified view of the pixel neighborhood is shown about the selected point to help you accurately pinpoint the corners. Rectangular footprints are common for many buildings, which is why we use them here. This process of snapping the floor plane and drawing the rectangles is repeated for all of the footprints that are visible in this photo. When you draw the first edge of the rectangle, try to draw the edge along the vanishing lines. In this example, they tend to lie along the edges of the windows. Our system allows you to switch from one viewpoint to another. Due to camera pose recovery, a footprint drawn in one viewpoint will appear registered in the other viewpoints and will be aligned with the sparse 3D point cloud. Notice that the footprints were each snapped to the heights of the selected 3D points. Click the floor layer icon to hide the floor. Click the point cloud layer icon to hide the 3D point cloud. Now, click the push-pull icon and select the face to extrude. This extrusion operation needs to be repeated to all footprints to create 3D volumes that are embedded in the scene. You may quickly switch from one viewpoint to another by clicking on the next camera and previous camera icons. It's important to note that if you dive into the scene beyond the textured frustrum, you can see the untextured 3D models. To assist the SketchUp inference engine for subsequent sketching on the faces, it is helpful to reset the world coordinate axes to a convenient corner of the scene. Click on the texture mapping icon to project the photo of the current view onto the model. You can then dive into the scene and see the model from different views. Since SketchUp supports dynamic texturing, you can refine the model while the photo continues to be projected onto it. You can save a preferred view by clicking the Set My View icon. It is then possible to bounce back and forth between the current frustum view and the saved view by clicking on the current camera and go to My View icons.